we're going to discuss about the uh, nine abbreviated words called preforms. So, some of the most common words have abbreviated shorthand spellings called preforms. So, the nine preforms in this lesson are, are all written with single shorthand symbols. So, since these words occur often in our language, their preforms are a major source of writing speed. So, they must be learned for instant recall and are highlighted in the practice material. First, we have the it. So, so ang symbol ni it and at is T symbol. So, short slanting line naman. Lang siya. Next natin, we have wood. So, si wood naman, ang symbol niya is the symbol for letter D. Okay? Next, before we have the pronoun I. So, for the pronoun so, for the pronoun I, we have this symbol. So, big circle lang siya. That is for the pronoun I. Next naman natin, we have the in and not. So, in and not, ang symbol niya is just the symbol for letter N. Okay? Next natin, we have am. So, si am naman, ang symbol niya is the symbol for Letter M. Long, straight line. Forward, straight line. So, ayan. Next naman natin, we have off. So, si off naman, ang symbol niya is the O symbol. So, yung small hook na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, next natin na symbol is we have R, R, R. R, our, and our. So, symbol niya is, so, medyo madali na lang siya. Symbol niya is the sound of R. Okay? Yun. Next symbol, we, uh, next brief form, we have the symbol for will and well. So, si will and well, ang symbol niya lang is the L symbol. Okay? So, yun lang yung symbol niya. Next natin, for the A tsaka an, we have this symbol. So, symbol niya is the same for letter H. It's just a period. So, ayun. So, those are the uh, nine abbreviated words called brief forms. So, we ha uh, after you learn those brief forms, we have what we call brief forms derivative. So, some brief forms can be used for longer words by making the brief forms plural or past tense or by adding a common prefix or a common suffix such as ing. One brief form derivative is possible using the alphabetic characters presented so far. So, try natin. For example, ang word natin is si will which is kanina din discuss na natin pwede natin siyang gamitin na preform derivative so paano yun for example ang word natin uh, willing will plus ink so gagawin natin yung preform ng will yun yung gagamitin natin to write yung outline na ito anong symbol na ito toldo so ito yung magiging uh, outline natin so willing Okay, hindi na natin kailangan na isulat yung buong word na will. Okay? Pwede rin natin pagsamahin yung dalawang brief form. So, for example, uh, yung I am. So, pag sinulat natin siya, hindi natin siya isusulat ng magkahiwalay na ganyan. Okay? So, isusulat natin siya into single outline. So, I am. So, mas, para mas madali siyang isulat. So, ayan. So, yun lang yung lesson natin for today. Sana may natutunan kayo. Okay. So, like, comment, subscribe. Okay. Huwag nyo kalimutang i-share. Then, huh. see you on the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.